self-driving cars. Most of the At the same conference in Silicon Valley, the focus is on bringing together experts from the two countries leading the artificial intelligence revolution. U.S. and China are the two potential promised land of doing great contribution on AI. Didi, China's largest ride-hailing app with more than 20 million rides a day, recently opened a Silicon Valley office to conduct research on artificial intelligence. The head of Didi Labs, Fun Ming Gong, shows how the company used AI at six traffic lights in Jinan, China, to reduce the peak waiting times of drivers by more than 10 percent. And we're looking at the machines that we can design, build it to do the things we would like them to help us to do, to accomplish. Yet it's going to be to a point where we actually can touch and feel, not simply just watching something. In Silicon Valley, scientists believe AI's ability to sift through massive amounts of data can also help combat cancer. Subarna Sinha has helped develop a software called Missile that seeks to tailor specific cancer treatments to a person's genetics. What we are proposing is to essentially use the, the patient's genetic characteristics to be able to precisely pinpoint what would be the, the right drugs to use for these patients. One of the advantages of this is that it's only going to attack cancer cells. It's not going to attack any normal cells. And so many of the toxic effects we see with chemotherapy will go away. Some of the most immersive and innovative technologies often find a home first in the world of gaming and entertainment because of the size of the market and its less stringent ethical implications. But one visual effects company founded by famous director James Cameron is looking to push the envelope in that arena by utilizing artificial intelligence. Digital domain special effects have been used in countless blockbuster movies like these. But now CEO Daniel Shea shows off its new technology that allows a user to control or become a digital avatar of someone else, like in this case, comic icon Stan Lee. To call your Spider-Man friends, get to the cinema. In the future, everybody going to have your own digital avatar. In the virtual world, when digital avatar plus AI, you're going to have your virtual friends. Shea predicts that in less than three years, everyone will have their very own virtual life. Mark New, CGTN, Mountain View, California.